Hello and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by tastytutes.com. In this video I am going to be discussing adjustment layers in Adobe Photoshop, how they work and why we should use them. So what are adjustment layers? Well adjustment layers are layers that are applied to a single layer or an entire composition in the layers panel that alter or enhance the image, be it in colour, contrast or effect. So why use them? Well, in Photoshop, you can use various tools to alter an image. For example, here we are in Photoshop, and we have an image here. And if we look in the Layers panel, we can see we have two layers. We have the Frogs layer, and we have a Moss layer. And, of course, we have a white base background. Now, if I want to change the nature of the Frogs layer, I could easily come up to Image, adjustments and what we have here is a wide variety of potential adjustments we can make. Let's choose hue saturation. So I can come along and change the hue of this and boost the saturation like so. Or I could even add another one. I could come back to image adjustments and we could choose levels and we can tweak the levels like so. Push this up and down and change the image. And of course, I could come to the layer below and again come to image adjustments. And we could change the curves of this of this image. So we could alter the curves like so and just get a, an interesting looking effect. Change it like so. And now if we look in our layers panel, we can see that we have these two layers. If we look closely, we can see that the effect has been applied. And in the image thumbnail, we can see that these have changed. Now using this technique, what you will find is once the effect is applied, it is pretty much set in stone. There is no going back. Of course, you can press undo, or you can even open up your histories panel and jump back a few steps. But once you have saved the file and closed it, or you progress with your artwork for a few hours, if you decide to modify the effects or take them away, it's going to be very difficult. Adjustment layers offer you great flexibility, allowing you to conveniently modify the adjustment at any time. You can turn them on and off, you can mask the effect, and even apply a blending mode to the adjustment. So using adjustment layers vastly improves your workflow in Adobe Photoshop. And if you're going to be making any changes at all, you really should be using adjustment layers. So let's take a look at some adjustment layers in practice. So here we are, and we have the same image, but this time we have some adjustment layers applied. I have my adjustment layers panel and my layers panel open. If you don't see these, you can come up to window, you can scroll down and you can activate your adjustments and layers panel here. If we take a closer look at the layers panel, this time we can see we have some adjustment layers applied. We have our two layers at the bottom, just like in our previous composition, and we can see that each adjustment layer is stacked on top. If the adjustment layer was underneath the layer, for example, then the adjustment layer would not work. Adjustment layers work from the top down. If we look a little closer at some of the adjustment layers, we have some little arrows on the left pointing down. Well, this means that these adjustment layers will only affect the layer below. So in this example, these adjustment layers are pointing to the frog layer and not the moss layer. So these adjustment layers will only be applied to the frogs layer. Now, if we come to the top of our layers panel, we can see that we have two adjustment layers and we have no arrows on the left hand side like the ones below. Well, this means that these adjustment layers will apply to any layer or group below it in the layers panel. So let's take a look at some of these. As we can see, we currently have quite a few adjustment layers applied, and some of them are currently invisible. So let's focus on the adjustment layers with the little arrows that are applying to my frogs layer. So we can see we currently have two adjustment layers uh, visible, and I can toggle the visibility of these. So now we have our original image, and if I bring back some of these um, adjustment layers, we can see the effect in which they are having. So we can toggle on and off these adjustment layers, quite simple. So as stated before, the adjustment layers with the arrows pointing down only affect to the layer. But if I look again at these top two adjustments on the top, these ones are missing the arrows and they are 
affect all layers below. So let's bring the this toggle of visibility of this one. So you can see that this one toggles the hue saturation of everything below it. So now we can see that it's affecting the frog layer and it's affecting the moss layer. And we have a threshold adjustment there at the top. And again, we can see that by bringing the visibility of that into play, we will affect all the layers. Now, what you might have noticed when I was tweaking the visibility of some of these adjustment layers, that some of them only applied to part of the image. If we look again closely at the adjustment layers, we can see that they all have layer masks applied, but only some actually mask out part of the adjustment. And we can tell this because we can see some black in the mask thumbnail. Once the adjustment layer has been introduced into your composition, we can easily modify it at any time. Simply click on the adjustment layer in the layers panel and with your adjustment panel open, you will be able to edit the adjustment quite simply. So let's take a look at how we can apply and manage adjustment layers. Well, here I am back with my original composition with my two image layers in the layers panel. And to start with, we want to add some adjustments to the frog layer. So, with the frog layer selected in the layers panel, we can do one of two things. We can either come up to the top menu, select layer, come down to new adjustment layer and select from here, or we can come to our layers panel and if we look at the bottom, we can see a series of icons. The fourth icon from the left is this little round icon here. If we click this, we can again choose our adjustments here. So I am going to start with hue saturation. And when I click this, we will see our adjustment layer appear on top of our frogs layer. Great. Now it's time to pay attention to the adjustments panel. Upon applying our hue saturation, we can toggle the hue saturation manually, or we can choose from a series of presets from the menu above. And we can select a range of predefined effects here. But in this instance, I am going to toggle the hue saturation manually. Now, if we come to our layers panel, we can toggle the visibility of our new adjustment, or we could even adjust the opacity. So this adjustment is currently affecting both the frogs layer and the moss layer below. But we want this adjustment to only apply to the frogs layer. So what we need to do is come back to our adjustment panel and with the adjustment selected, we need to come to the bottom of the adjustments panel. Here we can see a few little icons. We are now looking for this little icon here, third from the left. And by clicking this, this will clip the adjustment to the layer directly below. So let's go ahead and click this. And now you can see that the moss layer has become unaffected. And we can toggle this on and off. Let's leave this on. And if we look in our layers panel, let's look at the adjustment layer. And now we can see that there is this little arrow here on the left pointing down, which means that this adjustment layer is clipped to the layer directly below. So let's go ahead and add a different adjustment layer this time. So select the layer you want to add the adjustment to. In this instance, we want to add another adjustment to the frogs layer. This time, I'm going to select a gradient map. Now Photoshop remembers I only want to apply the adjustment to the layer directly below. So upon adding the new adjustment, it's automatically clipped it. And we can see the arrow again in the layers panel. So in my adjustments panel, I'm going to click on the gradient and choose a gradient from one of the presets. But this time, I only want this adjustment to apply to the little frog on his back. So now I need to mask out the adjustment elsewhere. I can do this by coming over to the adjustment layer on the layers panel. And if I click on the mask thumbnail that appears with the adjustment layer, with this clicked, I can select the brush tool. Then I need to make sure I have a black color selected and I can begin to mask away parts of the new adjustment I do not want to see.
and shortly you will have masked all but the little frog and you will have something that looks like this. So that's how you can mask adjustment layers. You can also apply blending modes to adjustment layers. Let's take a look at this. So I'm going to select my frogs layer and I'm going to apply another adjustment layer. This time I'm going to go for black and white. Now you can see the little frog is still in colour. This is because our new adjustment layer is at the bottom. Remember, adjustment layers work from the top down. So, should we move this new adjustment layer above, now you can see the little frog is black and white. So with this adjustment still selected, we can choose a blending mode from the menu at the top of our layers panel. So let's go with overlay, and you can see the effect that has. So now we have three adjustment layers that we have clipped to the layer directly below. What if we want to now create an adjustment layer that applies to both layers? Well, we can do this by selecting the top adjustment layer and then simply adding another adjustment layer. This time I'm going to go with levels. And this time we can see that there is no arrow next to the adjustment layer. As I begin to toggle the adjustments of the levels, we can see that it is now applying the adjustment to both layers. Now, if I feel unhappy with the effect and I only want it to apply to the moss layer, then I can simply click and drag the adjustment below the frog layer and it will only apply to the moss layer. So that's a quick introduction to adjustment layers. I hope you find this tutorial useful. And if you did not know about adjustment layers before, then I hope this video helps you understand how they work and encourages you to use them from now on. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. To see more tools and tips videos, you can go over to my website at tastytutes.com and register for free to watch more there. So until the next video, have fun guys, and I'll see you next time.